What? Huh? A special ED? What? Yo, what? Yo, what's up, Tia from Nation? It's me, the Tia from Muncher here again, and we are back with Classroom of the Elite Season 3. Yo, so Jitsiruka Shijo Shigiri Kyoshi to a third season. Um, yeah, we're back. Uh, I'm back home. I just got back home, obviously. We just got back home. Last episode was really well paced, I gotta say. The animation consistencies have dropped <laughs> because episode 1 and 2. Well, okay, let's go with three as well have been pretty decent with animation quality and the art style but then episode five episode four came in and was like um i mean it's all right <laughs> we all saw the uh the flaws of the animation and um yeah it's all understandable because it's outsourced <laughs> i know why it's outsourced is because of one comment okay we're gonna go into that later but uh, yeah i'm gonna do a patreon shout out first it all goes to obviously Rogue Knight once again, also known as 86 and Company. So yeah, always been my number one supporter, my patron. So yeah, let's just jump right into this. I'm I'm not gonna recap. I mean, obviously last episode was just um, Valentine's Day with K, cute scenes here and there, and then inconsistencies with animation. Though uh, some scenes have good art style and animations, and then <clears throat> a classroom crisis. Yeah. The rumors are spreading, like multiple rumors from each, or not each, a uh, different uh, person, you know, like Sato, um, Shinohara, Ayana Koji and K, and etc. And then Yamauchi is the one causing the ruckus, like he's the one, you know, putting more oil into the fire. <laughs> and yeah, that's what he's doing and that is why he gets more and more annoying as the episodes go by. We'll see. I think it's in the next episode. We'll see though. Um, Yamauchi. <laughs> Yama God. And uh, yeah. Anyway, we cannot forget the comment of the week. Yeah. <laughs> also, it has reached 67 likes. Yay. <laughs> so, comment of the week goes to just some guy with the mustache. <laughs> yeah. I respect Studio Lurch for adapting Volume 9 so well so far. But I'm kind of still getting scared for volume 10, 11, and 11.5. We only got 9 episodes left. I totally agree with this. That's why I said facts. And yeah, I'm pretty scared now because volume 11.5 is damn thick. So does volume 10 and 11. Volume 11 and 11.5 are the thickest books of year 1. Like they're almost around five pa uh, 500 pages. So yeah. From Martin. Obviously, public subscriber A. <laughs> well, everybody, I knew it. PV was late, and the reason why is because this episode was outsourced by the Namu Animation, a Korean studio that animated like three projects, last being in 2018. Now they just assist with the animation. I was like, why didn't the PV got released already? And my number one reason was maybe it's because it's outsourced, and I was right. It's written on their website of uh, screenshots of the episode when you scroll down and find animation director Namu Animation. But honestly, this studio have done decent job with animation better than other studio lurches hired. <laughs> it's outsourced. That is the reason why it's uh, it's pretty like that. <laughs> like the animation inconsistencies are the here and there, and um, yeah. Anyway, though, I mean, I'm not complaining i mean it's much better than season two's outsourced episodes you know what i'm saying so yeah, especially in season two episode two that was the most uh, that's pretty much of an eyesore <laughs> of an episode like the animation inconsistencies in that episode was just so damn bad <laughs> anyway though let's see how this episode goes i mean it's pretty much the conclusion of volume nine so yeah we are ending there and um yeah okay so they're adapting kushi the scene with ayana koji their deal or negotiation i should say and then the final scene where she knows they apologizes and yeah tells the truth about her rumor 
and then her Valentine's gift. Sorry for spoilers ahead, but um, yeah. I think, uh, yeah. And then Sake and Nagi as well, right? Yeah. And also the, uh, the scene where we imagined it to be very romantic, you know, Ichinose and Ayanokoji talking to each other, like, behind closed door. So, yeah. Anyway, after this, we're entering volume 10. I don't know how they're gonna cram that into three episodes, I guess, <laughs> again. And then I don't know if volume 11 will have three episodes again. And then <laughs> just two episodes for 11.5. Yeah, because 11 and 11.5 are like the longest. Or I don't know if they're gonna cram volume 11 and 11.5. 11 being four episodes and then one episode once again for 11.5, which is... I don't know how I feel about that because 11.5 is a build up for year two specifically and yeah anyway though let's just jump right into this episode so yeah I'm not prolonging this any longer so yeah before we end please drop a like comment share and subscribe turn the post notices on so they don't miss out any of my future videos which I'll post this on this channel with that being said without further ado without further delay let's get right into it fortune favors the bold why is there a subtitle Famous quote. Yep. Oh no, opening! Yes. I want a vibe, but like, you know what I'm talking about. It should have been like this to give more screen time, run time. Cut out the opening and ending theme for now, please. <laughs> お前を疑ってるんだ、橋本。お前とカルイザーの密会の目撃者が俺だけだ。びっくり。ことはない。ひどい。マイガール。<笑><笑> これ以上俺たちを不要意に疑うのはやめてくれ。うん。証拠もなしに絡まれちゃ困るからな。Any proof? It's always about proof. Hiori is the smartest one. Ichinose. Ichinose-san がやっと投稿なさいましたね。試験にはギリ間に合ったってことね。で、どうすんの?全員バッチリだ。you know that's not his limit oh here we go mm -hmm. oh here we go その資金力を背景に南極を乗り切ってきた。それ自体は不正ではない。Ichinose is a criminal. A shoplifter. ですが、この告発が示す内容が真実だったとしたら。What yeah. if she were to rob your points? 本当に一ノ瀬さんが犯罪者だったとしたら。出たらめだ。こちらが握っているのは一ノ瀬さんの噂についての確たる証拘です。証拠があるって。みんな落ち着いて。そんな人にクラスのポイントを預けておくのは。ごめん。みんな。少しだけ私の話を。I Mm -hmm. Yep. 
I'm so glad we're seeing this. We only imagined it, you know, as light novel readers. We only just imagined it because there's no illustration. Yeah. <laughs> They are really giving justice to Ichinose's character. The backstory. Here we go. Yeah. Her mom. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. You guys have overworking. Yeah. Yeah. That's the that's the push. Yeah, the hair clip. Yeah. Yeah. So are they gonna adapt Ayana Koji and Ichino's talking about this? I don't know man. Yeah. シャープ。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
We're only halfway, almost halfway, actually. We got that much justice in their backstory? That's crazy! Hypocrisy. Oh, here we go. The strong union of class B. There it is. Yeah, yeah, it's over. It's over, Sake and Agi. You've lost this fight. Seduced? Yeah. Yeah, Nagumo. <laughs> and Hoshinomi sensei and Mashima sensei. Okay. That's where it comes in. これはもはや一の世だけの問題じゃないのさ。お前たち一年生の間で誹謗中傷の応酬が行われていることが確認された。うん。無意味に吹聴して回る人は今後処罰の対象となることを通告します。Is Maybe it's because she's always so drunk that I can't even hear her real voice. You did something, Anakoji. <laughs> I can see the. Mm-hmm. How'd you do it? Oh. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Okay, so they're doing it like this. All right. Okay, I think the uh I think it's an excellent direction there. Really? They're doing it like this. They're not talking with the doors closed? Okay. Here this episode is so good. What? What is this episode so uh, so good? This episode is so good. The direction in this episode is so good. <laughs> what? Someone cooked here. Yep. Studio Lurch. You guys have outdone yourselves with this episode. The direction in this episode is so good. I'm not gonna lie. I, it may be just me as a light novel reader, but I don't know if other light novel readers feel the same way. This is actually done justice. And so, yeah. Anyway. Rebuffed.感動的ですね。俺を動かすために神室を使っただろう。なぜそう言い切れるのです。神室が差し出したビールの缶は入学当初にあいつが盗んだものだ。渡されたビールの賞味期限。ああ。ビールの賞味期限よりも一年近く古
And so it begins. The OST of season three this time. This time, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, apparently, we're gonna have a special exam first before we go there. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Kushi died. Right, right, right. Yeah, I'm obligatory. I know. せいかくだった。桐山副会長にはこの情報を掲示板に書き込んでほしいんです。一ノ瀬を救うために誰よりも南雲生徒会長がダメージを受け歓迎すべきことと思いますがその時に断罪されるのは俺だ。<笑><
her character like this is wow this is so new to me like what <laughs> okay in season two we got kushida's backstory to me that was like yeah that was an excellent adaptation for kushida i think that would have i think that might have been so much better than the light novel backstory because like we're seeing the visuals and like they're you know they're adapting it so well much better in fact than the light novel so yeah i think this time they did each knows his character backstory so much justice and way better than volume 9 like the light novel i'm not i'm not exaggerating it so yeah although the animation and art style quality in this episode have to be more you know consistent because like like i said i've seen some animation and art style quality there here and there that um it's uh it's inconsistent <laughs> it's not you know it's super well animated but um yeah i hope they fix it again on the blu-ray but um yeah overall though this episode was peak for ichinose like obviously but i'm not gonna go into details with uh year two ichinose because so far for year one ichinose this is done right this is done super well so yeah anyway we're done with volume 9 and now we're entering volume 10 this is the special exam that we have always been wanting to get and we're getting hirata's backstory with it and then volume 11 is the revelation you know this this is the fight that we've all been waiting for so yeah yeah and then 11.5 the build up for year two so we're expecting to have a year two adaptation soon for the anime so yeah anyway though thank you guys so much for watching once again another fantastic adaptation by studio lurch this is done so well i gotta give props to studio lurch well done this is one of the best episodes they've ever done so yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys on the next one which will now be entered which we will now be entering in year uh year one volume 10 so yeah see you guys then i can't wait for that <laughs> peace out